everyone, so this video is going to be on taming gerbils and these are my six quick tips that I would recommend trying out when taming gerbils. They've really helped me and although gerbils are quite naturally confident and cheeky, they're fairly easy to tame. These, these tips I'm going to show you just help build up the speed of the taming process and also the positive kind of environment of the taming process too. Number one, spend lots of time with your gerbil. This is really important with any pet, not just with gerbils. It's just super important to spend that extra bit of time with them, even just by sitting next to the cage while you're watching TV helps and maybe putting your cage in quite a busy area of the house. If you're in and out of your bedroom, then that's the perfect place to put it. And it'll build up a recognition for the gerbil. They'll start to recognise who you are and your voice and be a little less frightened of you as time goes on. Number two, sit in the playpen. This is the best tip I would recommend trying out. Even if you can't sit in the playpen, maybe just sit next to it. But there's lots of different ways to do this. You can sit in a gym proof room, the playpen. You can make your own playpen out of cardboard, a bigger version, just to do the taming process because this really does help. It's building up a bond with your gerbil in a relationship and it's making it very positive. You can interact with them and you know you're there so they can come up to you. It's building their confidence. It's really really good. If you can see in this clip I'm interac interacting with Chip quite a lot but that's because he's, he's three years old now and he's very tame but the first few times doing this I would recommend just sitting there and let your gerbil come to you and climb on you rather than putting the pressure on them and that you're going to pick them every five minutes otherwise it might make them a little bit, bit more frightened they might be a bit more wary to come up to you so just sit there and let them come to you and it just really helps I really recommend doing this and trying it out even if it means you're sat in a bathtub with your gerbil running around the bathtub it's always got positive results so please try this out as a taming tip Number three, use treats and food to hand feed to your gerbil. This is another great tip. Hand feeding really does help. Maybe once or twice a day, hand feed pieces of food or small treats like seeds or things like that and just offer them to your gerbil and it just helps them to understand that you're not a threat and you're just offering them something quite tasty so it's not something to be scared of and it just builds another positive relationship with your gerbil. Number four, let your gerbil come to you. This kind of relates to the last tip. You don't want your gerbil being pressurised to come to you. You just want to let them come to you. So if you can see in this clip and also in the treat clip, I just waited for Chip to come to me rather than waking him up and forcing him to come find me because I've got a treat or something like that. Because it's not going to build up the positive relationship that you want with your gerbil. You want them to be frightened of you, not to be scared that you're going to pull them out of their bed or anything like that. So let them come to you, even if that's just because you're giving them a treat, because you want to stroke them or see them. Just let them wake up at their own time and come to you when they want you. Number five, rub your hands with some gerbil items. This sounds really strange, but it honestly helps. One way the your gerbils will recognise you is through your smell and your scent. So rubbing your hands on some of their familiar items like hidey houses, bedding and toys every so often will help them to remember who you are and your smell and that it's not a threatening smell and that you're part of their family. And then the last tip I would recommend is to take your time. I say this in every taming video, it's really important to just let your gerbil become tame in their own time, not to rush things, otherwise it can become quite negative. You really don't want that when you're trying to tame them and make it a really positive effect. So just don't rush them and take your time and do all of the other tips and it should be okay. And those are all my six quick tips on taming gerbils and I hope it helps you all out. Also for those of you who are new subscribers or new viewers and are wondering why Chip lives alone, it is because I recently lost his brother T, his partner, he passed away not long ago so that's why he's alone now and in this video so don't worry he's fine he gets a lot of attention and he's very healthy but thank you for watching i hope this has helped you all out and remember to follow those tips and they should help you to tame your gerbils pretty quickly and you could also follow me for updates on twitter facebook and instagram if you're interested thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time bye everyone